guess what, Coach, you just want to give a little opening statement about uh, your team heading to the Final Four, and then we'll open it up for questions. Obviously, as a head coach, you can't be more proud of your young men for them to seize this opportunity that presented itself to us back two weeks ago. And we've talked about how we've worked hard and we've earned this opportunity. We've made our breaks, but we certainly have caught some breaks. But the most important thing is our young men have really stepped up and they've seen, seized the opportunity. And um, we're thrilled to, for our program to have this chance to play on the big stage, to go up against three other great outstanding programs. And we know that it's, uh, it's an opportunity for us to showcase not only Stevens Point basketball, but, but our community, our university, and the state of Wisconsin. And that means a lot to our guys and to our staff. You guys are going to face Virginia Wesley. Can you talk about what you've seen from them watching tape, kind of to prepare? Well, my staff, I believe they're as good as anybody uh, at preparation. And that starts at the top with Coach Dernbach. Kent is in his fourth year now and, and does a tremendous job of getting video, getting stats. And he leads. He's got a great team with Jake Gowan and Brant Bailey. But then our managers are our student assistants step up and do an incredible job. But we, we know those guys, we'll know them as well as any opponent. Uh, we have great video on them. And then of course we'll get to see two of the teams live when we live scout uh, in the first game at five o'clock. So as far as the details right now, we're, we don't do that until um, as we get 48 hours away from the game. Right now, all of our focus is how much better can we get in practice today and tomorrow. All the attention is on us. Is there anything you guys are working on specifically in practice today and tomorrow? We, we know that each of the teams will present something different. So for us, we go through our checklist of, of being a great team defensively against all, everything that we could possibly face. And then the same thing often offensively. We go through our checklist, and we're, gonna, we're not going to change who we are. We're going to be um, uh, who we are as a program. We're going to follow our philosophy. Our guys have bought in 100%. And that's important this time of the year, to just know and trust that what you are and what you've done all year is going to be good enough. Coach, I know you've touched on it before, but uh, what has this group of seniors meant to you? What, how has it been watching them grow over these Four years and then finally to see them get to this point as you know they said that not many people thought well you, you reflect back to each of those visits going into their homes and talking to them and their parents and and telling them that this is possible that winning wide championships and playing in NCAA tournaments and and perhaps someday the dream of playing in a final four and they know that's been done here before so that obviously means a lot and but for them to put their faith and confidence in this program to come here, to come in together, those four seniors, and in today's day and age, not very often do four guys come in together and four guys graduate together. There's so much transferring and moving around, and these guys chose to come here. They could have gone other places and then transferred back, but they came here their freshman year, and they're going to finish together. It's just a great story. Great young men, great families wonderful off the floor, on the floor, great point average. They've helped lead us to a 3.5 GPA for three consecutive semesters. It's all good stuff, and, and, but we're not going to get too reflective. It's not the end of the year banquet. We want to uh, we want to lock in, and I want to get after those guys. I want them to be mad at me in practice today. Steve and Sean, can you each talk a little bit about what you have witnessed from the four seniors this year, how they have basically taken over the team to get you to this uh, position? Um, I think our four seniors have done a great job um, leadership-wise. Just, I mean, they've been through it more than anyone else on our team, obviously. They've been doing this for four years straight. I mean, the, the early morning workouts in the fall, um, the open gyms in the afternoon in the fall and the spring, 
Um, they've just put so much work in, and they've been such great examples to me and Sean that we can also be great examples to the younger guys too, the freshmen and sophomores. And they've really just set the tone for us um, the whole year. And they, I mean, they deserve this more than anyone. Yeah, they all have uh, different qualities that make this team click and make it so special. And just to see how close that that they've got this year, and you know, I came in. They're a year older than me, so just see, I've learned so much from them in my three years here, and um, it's going to be things that you know Stephen and I use next year to help the young guys. So I've I've learned so much from them, and I, I really appreciate them for that. Can you talk a little bit about what you guys have learned from them, guys? Uh, the good or the bad? Both or both? Both. Um, I mean, I mean everything overall. Just, I mean, there's such a. I mean, I think they'd like to be called a tough group of guys. I mean, a lot of people don't really think they're that. Uh, they've been called like not the talented, like most talented group. But I mean, I think they should kind of take offense to that because they're. I mean, four great players, great leaders, and like I said, they just have set the tone for us. And you know, they keep the standard high in practice every day. Yeah, I'd say, you know, even just pregame, uh, Joe Ritchie's a guy that really gets us fired up and just the things that he can say to get our team to react, he knows he knows what to say. And Alex in uh, off-season workouts, you know, just seeing how hard he works and how dedicated he is and he's became a great player. Um, Joe, I want to learn a little bit more about uh, golfing. Uh, he's a pretty good golfer. but. Uh, like lutes and riff during the games, we'll have uh, coach really focuses on our huddles and uh, the things they say in the huddle, uh, focusing on the little things that maybe you don't think about during the game, you know, getting over a ball screen and, and just seeing how, how they react to that and that's just all the things that you've learned from them during the games and, and on the bench and stuff like that, so it's all, it's all going to help us. Are you guys going to challenge me the way those four seniors challenge me sometimes in practice? Uh, did you learn that from them? Uh, maybe from Rich. But. Once in a while? That's all part of it though, right? Yeah. We like the fire. Yeah. Coach, is, is there anything that you'd share with these guys from, from your past experiences having been to Salem you know, twice as, as, uh, as an assistant and then in 2010 as a head coach? Obviously, these guys have an experience, but is there anything from those experiences that you try and share with these guys to prepare them? There certainly are. Uh, I've shared with the guys the, the fact that this is going to be a memorable experience, that the NCAA uh, finals in Salem is first class, and the folks at Salem are tremendous. They are very warm and welcoming and they care about student athletes and they care deeply about putting on a great championship and you will feel that their families will feel that our fans it is a uh, a wonderful weekend and they're going they have an opportunity they're for sure going to have a great experience and we want them to enjoy that but we talk more about what we can do in terms of going 2-0, something that we've had to do now for about eight consecutive weeks. To win a WIAC championship, pretty much from the Whitewater loss, we had to go 2-0 week in and week out. And that's been our theme, and that's our focus going out to Salem, Virginia. We, we have a great plan, a great routine. We've been doing it for two months now, is having two good practices and going out and and playing our best basketball. And that's our, the, what I want these guys to do is be, filter out all the other things. I want them to enjoy, there's gonna be times where they can really enjoy this experience, but it's a business trip. They must lock in and be focused on video and team meetings and, and practices. And, but then there's gonna be times where they can really relax and enjoy each other and, and talk about this experience and enjoy this experience. So it's, these guys have been doing it for four years, so I, I know uh, we're going to be in good hands with the leadership of our four seniors and, and these two guys with me. Can you back you off that a little bit, Bob? Obviously, you've been on with the three other trips there. Um, are you guys almost doing the exact same 
same thing, or is there a different group and you've got to change things up? Or? Well, we're, we're, we're six and all in Salem. We've won three national titles. We have a great plan. But part of that is, um, I mean, you again, you have to be a really good basketball team, and you have to be playing at your best. You have, but you have to catch some breaks. In each of those years that we won national titles, we certainly caught some breaks and, and we, we, we seized our opportunities. And we know that'll happen again. Uh, but it's just like it has been all season for us. And so we don't have to talk too much about that. We just have to do what we've been doing. Uh, I, I, want, I can't wait. What I'm looking forward to is taking these guys onto that practice floor that first day and looking up in the rafters where they have all the banners and to see UW Stevens Point and see 2004, 2005, and 2010. And, and just knowing that that, that that opportunity is going to present itself for this team and, and what we've done to get here and now again um, going after and seizing that opportunity. Any, any other questions? Coach, guys, thank you very much. All right.